we only have a couple minutes left, if you can believe it. Um, I do want to ask you two quick fast. things. <laughs> I know, it always goes by fast. I, it always shocks me. Um, but you mentioned, you know, social issues aren't necessarily something that are coming up when you're talking to voters. Um, you all took a vote last week on a social issue that many do consider settled law. That was, of course, marriage equality, allowing people of same-sex marriage to get married, as well as um, protecting interracial marriages. You were one of the 47 Republicans who voted in support of it. Why did you feel it was necessary to, to do that? Well, as a constitutional conservative, I felt that it's really quite simple for me. Yes, it is settled law. And if we are going to really uphold the Fifth Amendment and the 14th Amendment and guarantee equal protections under the law, we need to make sure that we're doing that across the board. I've said often that the Constitution, it's not a la carte. We don't get to pick and choose what we want to uphold from one day to the next. And as someone who is fiercely protective of my oath and the Constitution, I felt that it was really important that I take a stand and say, yes, 14th Amendment, equal protection under the law. And I think it's really important that we mention that it wasn't redefining the biblical t definition of marriage. Marriage has been co-opted as a term by the government for really a contract between two consenting adults. And I don't think that anybody is in disagreement. They want marriage out of, out of government as much as I do. But at the end of the day, I know that this is the right vote because it is the constitutional vote. And we need to protect equal rights for every single American, regardless of what their definition of pursuit of happiness is.